Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you feeling today? I wish you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. There is an English for grade 5. We are learning unit number 10 and its title is Stop One Heart From Breaking. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, this is lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. And our today's lecture, lecture number 4, we will learn about adverbs and its types. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, before in English for grade 4, we have already learned about adverb and its all types. I hope you remember this lecture. If you may not, you can watch this video lecture again. Our today's students learning outcomes are identify and use adverbs of manner, time, place and frequency. So today we will learn about these. Yes, my dear fellow teachers and my dear students, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Al-Quran, Surah Al-Ankabut, verse number 69, and those who strive in our cause, we will certainly guide them to our paths. For verily, Allah is with those who do right. Yes, my dear teachers and my dear fellow students, can you guess that which this beautiful verse is telling us? Yes, this beautiful verse is telling us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing that those who strive for our cause, those who work, those who try for our cause in the way of Allah, so definitely we also help them. We support them, we bless them strength. And we move them towards our path. Why? Because they are on the right path. So let's pray to Almighty Allah that Allah Almighty also bless us strength to adopt the right way according the teachings of Islam. Ameen. So can you judge my dear students? So there is a word certainly. Why I have circled it and verily. Yes, these are adverbs. So let's see what are adverbs. There are a few uh, pre-reading questions are there. What is an adverb? Yes, my dear students, pause the video, respond this to answer to your teacher and come back. Welcome back and I hope you have memorized that what are adverbs. So, let us see what are adverbs. Every action is called verb like go, drink, write, etc. Speak. A verb indicates action that what is being done. So, a verb, what is a verb? A verb always indicates action that what is being done, what we are doing like go, write, eat, speak. So, these are called verbs. So, what are adverbs? A word that tells more about a verb or adjective in a sentence is called an adverb. It always tells about an action that how, when, where and when it is done. Yes, my dear students. So, what is an adverb? Adverb always qualify a verb. Verb is an action. So, an action is being qualified by an adverb. An adverb will tell us how that action is being done, in which manner, where, what was the place, where it was being done and when, when will tell us about time. So, let us see there. Few examples are there for you. The sun is shining brightly. Yes, my dear students. So, can you guess that what this sentence is telling us? The sun is shining brightly. So, shine is a verb and what is that? Brightly. It is telling us that how the sun was shining, is shining. Next example, it is raining. Let us go inside. Yes. So, what is inside? Go is a verb. Go is a verb and it is being qualified by an adverb inside. So, inside is a, yes, my dear students, place like we are inside. We are in classroom. So, we are inside. If we will be out, so we will be outside. So, these are places. Good. Here is another example. Sometimes I ride my bike to school. So, sometimes. So, this is telling us about time. So, how much time 
how uh, much time I spent that I ride my bike to school. So, this is some time, not always, it is some time. So, this is also time, we can say that, that it is tell us the frequency. So, types of adverbs, some adverbs describe the way something is done, they are called adverbs of manner. So, what are adverb of manner? Adverb of manner will tell us that, that in which manner the action is being done, like slowly, quickly, she speaks softly. So, this is an action and this is telling us about manner. So, see in this example, the sun is shining brightly. So, that brightly is adverb of manner because it is clearly telling us that how the sun is shining in which manner. Here are few other examples. The man drove carelessly. So, this is also telling us that manner how the man is driving the car. Please speak clearly. So, this is also manner that how she should speak. She should speak clearly in a nice way. Next example, they jumped up playfully. So, they jumped up playfully. So, this is also how they jumped up. They jumped up playfully, cheerfully. So, this is telling us about the manner of verb, how they have jumped. So, now some other adverbs are there, describe when something happens. So, these verbs describe when something is happening. They are called adverbs of time. So, these are called time. When is always being used for time, when we have to talk about time. So, let us see in this example, sometimes I ride my bike to school. So, this is telling us about time. So, when I, I, I am riding my bicycle, so I am riding bicycle sometimes, not always. It is also an adverb of time can be the adverb of frequency, how long I do this work. So, see there, next examples we have, she is building it today. So, today is our, an adverb of time, everyone arrived early. So, this is telling us the time, the weather is fine this morning. So, that this morning is clearly telling us the morning time and everyone arrived early, this is also time. So, we can get that such type of words are called adverb of time, yes, good students. So, some adverbs tell where something happens. So, that where, can you judge that WH family where, yes, where will always tell us about place. They are called adverbs of place. So, let us see a few examples. It is raining, let us go inside. So, inside is a place, already we discussed that. Same like we are inside the classroom, in room. So, this is also place, if we will be go outside, so this will be outside and this will be also place. So, it is telling us about place. Next examples are there, Alia lived next door. So, that next door is telling us that where is, where does Alia live? So, this is also adverb of place. The children are playing downstairs. So, where the children are playing? Where is the place? Place is downstairs. If we will say that the children are playing upstairs. So, upstairs will be place also like we can say on the roof, on the second floor, first floor. But they are playing downstairs means they are playing on ground floor. So, this is also place. They are, there are trees everywhere. So, where are trees? Everywhere we can find trees. So, such type of words are called, my dear students, adverb of place. Good. So, now it is an activity time. Let us learn through activity. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, write few sentences on the board. Make pair of students. Call each pair near the board. One student will underline the adverb and other will tell its type. Engage the whole class in the activity. Yes, my dear teachers, you will write few sentences having adverb in these sentences. So, you will write on the board, you will make pair, you will call students and perform this activity according to the instructions. Pause the video and then come back. 
welcome back and i hope you have enjoyed and you have got that what are adverbs and how we can judge its different types okay so now it's time to perform an individual activity on page number 97 question number 7 is there look at the following underlined words and tick the option that best describes them so you will perform this activity on your book on page number 97 and also half is on page number 98 i'm waiting for you pause the video my dear teachers and get this activity on book excellent job good my dear students so what's our homework for today make 10 sentences using all kinds of adverbs in your notebooks yes my dear students so that adverbs we have learned that we will use in your homework and you will write in your notebooks yes my dear fellow teachers this is worksheet and this worksheet link is given below you should click it and download it provide it to your students and judge that how much they have got about adverbs so wrap up what we have learned today today we learned about adverb we learned that adverb qualifies a verb we also learned about its different types in different situations and in this way my dear teachers and my dear students we have covered up our slo identify and use adverbs of manner time place and frequency so yes my dear teachers and my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture tomorrow with a new lectures take care till this time see you soon tomorrow inshallah allah hafiz